So today's video I'm really excited about because we are doing a DIY on how to do a distressed, grungy, zombie, bloodied tank top. So yeah, let's just get started. You will need a white ribbed tank, a cooking pot, black tea, acrylic paint, and scissors. And you'll also need paper towels, a paintbrush for mixing your paint, and then newspaper to spread over your surface. So your first phase is cutting. So just cut a zigzag pattern on the bottom of your shirt. And the problem with this is it's gonna look very store-bought and you want it to look really authentic. So make sure you cut slits on each zigzag like so and then you're just gonna pull them and tease them until they look much more authentic and ragged. And your finished product will look something like this. And next you want to cut holes randomly over your uh, t-shirt and then you're going to take the holes and just pull them and make them really stretched out and really grungy looking. And then take the edges of your holes after you've stretched them out and pull at them and make them look more ragged so it doesn't look so store-bought. So that's how that should look. Phase two, dyeing. Boil some water and then put about four tea bags in it and let that soak until it's really dark. And then go ahead and put your white t-shirt in it. And I left mine in for about two minutes and it came out really dark. Don't worry if it's too dark, you can just wring it out and once it dries it will be a lot lighter. So hang it up to dry and wait. <laughs> The third phase is the painting. So put some red and black into your little mixer thing and just go ahead and mix it up. And you want it to be a lot darker than blood color because it's gonna be your dirt and your soot. You could also use brown, but I didn't have that. So paint it onto your uh, paper towel and then you're gonna take your paper towel and just dab randomly over your shirt to give it sort of like a gritty, rolling around in dirt feel and make sure to make the pattern really random and really focus on the tattered edges. I actually just took a paintbrush and painted right onto the fabric to make it extra dark. Next you're going to take some red and black to make a dark blood look and make sure it's really distinguished from your soot and take a bunch of that onto a paper towel and then just dab it focusing around the holes in your shirt because it just makes it look a little more realistic I think. And make sure you make it really dark because blood really soaks through so yeah there you have it hope you enjoy and let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more diys like this okay bye